Olympian has filed a civil lawsuit in Essex County, New York, claiming a team chiropractor sexually abused her. Bobsledder Asia Evans says the abuse began about a decade ago. NBC5's Stephen Biddick spoke with her lawyer today and has more on the story. Asia Evans is a bronze medalist and Team USA bobsled Olympic athlete. On Wednesday, she filed a civil suit claiming she was sexually abused throughout her years of training. And that lawsuit alleges that she was sexually assaulted and abused by a Team USA chiropractor while she was training and competing for the USA bobsled and as an Olympic athlete. Evans claims Dr. Jonathan Wilhelm groped her genitals and body along with taking pictures and video of her without consent. Evans was already a part of a safe sport investigation dealing with sexual misconduct in Team USA, but felt she needed to do more, which is why this suit has been filed. Her attorney believes she isn't the only one and others may soon step forward similar to the Larry Nassar case at Michigan State. If I've learned anything from these sports abuse cases, it's that where there is one, there are almost always others. In a statement to NBC5, Willem's lawyer says in part, quote, Dr. Wilhelm denies the detestable claims and defamatory comparisons being made in this lawsuit. Dr. Wilhelm has not yet had the opportunity to defend any of these baseless claims in court or through the legal process, but he will. The USA Bobsled and Skeleton Federation and U.S. Olympic and Paralympic Committee are also a part of the suit. The U.S. Bobsled and Skeleton Federation responding to the suit saying, quote, while we are unable to comment on the specifics of the lawsuit or any ongoing investigations, USABS condemns sexual misconduct. These types of matters fall under the jurisdiction of the U.S. Center for Safe Sport and Law Enforcement. Now that the suit is filed, Evans' attorney will get to work requesting records and documents from Team USA and their entities to prove what they are claiming has taken place over the last decade. In Lake Placid, Stephen Biddick's NBC5 News.